Hey guys, MCU Collector here with another figure review. Next up is the Valiverse Action Force, the pink female steel brigade. In the month of October, um, we celebrate and uh, raise awareness for breast cancer. So one thing that Bobby Vala and Valiverse has done is actually created this special release for the pink female steel brigade. Portions of the proceeds will actually go to the Gloria Gemma Foundation. They're actually based in Rhode Island where uh, Valiverse is based. So pretty awesome thing to see any toy company uh, do something like this so helping raise awareness for breast cancer something special um, and on top of that collectors you you have an opportunity to get a really cool action figure while doing some good the steel brigade figures are amazing i have um, all the steel brigade releases from action force um, all really good figures so i'm very happy this is the second female figure to release in the steel brigade uh line so i'm pretty excited about it so looking at it we get the pink ribbon there <clears throat> in that top corner, it says Breast Cancer Awareness Action Force Steel Brigade. We can see all the accessories that the, that she comes with. We have three extra sets of hands. Looks like we have two guns. We have two magazines. We've got a knife in there. And then the Action Force stand in pink there. Uh, looking at the artwork there, it looks really cool. You can see Breast Cancer Awareness, three action points um, if we're collecting. Um, and then we have the file card there. So we're going to go ahead and get this opened up. I ordered two, one to open um, and then one to keep on card because uh, the Steel Brigade figures look uh, amazing. I have, you know, the the Desert Steel the De the Desert Steel Brigade and the Arctic Steel Brigade. I, you know, I got extras of those so I can keep on card. Um, but let's go ahead and get right into it and take a look at this pink female Steel Brigade. Okay, so here is the female Steel Brigade pink figure out of the package. Really, really good, solid. The accessories are all held um, on the figure itself, obviously, except for the the extra hands and stuff that we come with. Um, out of the package, she actually has trigger finger hands. We also get uh, fists. Then we have uh, kind of standard grip hands here uh, as well. And then we also have kind of these cupped hands, which I probably should have put this on the left, right, to kind of hold uh, that gun there. But that's what these ones uh, here are for. No, so not quite a full grip. Uh, there um, and then she has the two guns and then we have the extra magazines and stuff that get stored onto the vest And then we have the pink action force uh, Figure display stand so that is really cool all the action force figures come with that and obviously not in pink So this one being pink um, is really cool there. So uh, we have that valiverse there uh, So there we go. So let's go ahead and get in for a closer look at the pink female steel brigade Okay, so here's an up-close look. So we here we have the uh, the Steel Brigade logo there, and then we also have the pink ribbon there. So that is obviously a really nice touch in there. You can see here you can store those magazines actually right in there um, on the vest. So I'll just kind of keep those on in. These um, The magazines are just kind of this gunmetal color, which I think obviously is very fitting and makes sense. Uh, the rifle that we actually get to come with her does have an additional uh, removable magazine as well. Um, it's just all black in color. You got the scope in in there um, this gun sculpted nicely looks pretty good there we also get the handgun pistol um, as you can see there I don't know what any of these guns are actually called but there looks good there um, and then oh I almost forgot we got the knife so we got the knife sheath in the back the knife looks good sculpted nicely nice silver paint for the blade um, and then just again sheaths right in the back which is really cool so there we go so looking at uh, the the figure, looks really nice. I love the design of the Steel Brigade figures. The female figure, obviously, it's the same helmet design, just obviously smaller. I will do a comparison with all the other Steel Brigade uh, figures, including the the you know the regular female Steel Brigade. Um, just wanted to show you guys, and I think you know supporting an awesome cause like this with the proceeds going to a, a the Gloria Gemma Foundation. Um, just amazing, but not only that is, you know, continue to raise awareness for breast cancer. While I personally don't know anybody that has been affected by breast cancer, I think majority of Americans do. And I think it's something that we can all get behind, um, there, you know, so again, awesome action figure. And then part of those proceeds are going to, to help a really good cause. So, um, that's always amazing. So the suit itself is pink, but like certain armor parts, right? So the armor plated knee pad, knee pad, knee pad, knee pads, um, are, you know, colored in the shit same with the shin guard uh the boots are black you got the steel toe um in there the holster is just kind of this gray color but it looks like additional magazine sculpted in there which is cool those are black in color part of the vest you know has that dark gray get some nice silver in for the buckles just overall painted really nicely just looks really really good but let's go ahead now and check out the articulation 
Okay, so the female steel brigade's articulation, her head is on a di uh, disc hinge, so she can look up that much, which is great. She can look all the way down, which is awesome. Full rotation in that head. Uh, a little bit of pivot in there, so that is pretty good. The arm you can get to go, oh, a little stiff. Uh, you can get that arm to go straight on out like so. You get a full rotation in that shoulder as well. You got the upper, let me bring this out a little bit so you can see it better. Upper bicep swivel, double jointed pinless elbow, gives you that much range there on uh, the elbow. Uh, wrist swivel and the hinge, uh, vertical hinge on these trigger fingers. Uh, let me see what else. Okay, so trigger fingers get the vertical hinge. Every single other hand has the standard horizontal hinge on there. Um, I don't know. I mean, you can take the vest off. I prefer not to because these vests are way too difficult to put back on. So I'm trying to think of what the articulation is up underneath. Ah, let me see. Okay, so she's got diaphragm joint in there. Um, which is going to be tough with the vest on for sure. Oh, you know what? The belt is actually a separate piece from that vest. Um, I'm going to have to clip this back on. I'm completely honest with you guys. These vests do come off. They're very difficult to put on. I know like series one was really, really tough. And I think they, oh, you know what? That was pretty easy. They definitely improved as they went on, but it, it's still, I, I, I love the look with the vest. I don't actually care for the look without the vest, if I'm being completely honest. So I'm going to keep it on there. Um, she has a ball joint at the waist and then she has the diaphragm cut in there, but the vest obviously is going to really hinder that articulation. You can see, you could tilt a little bit, but really if you use the hips because of the drop down, you can really kind of get some motion in there, but that vest obviously is just going to hinder it completely. Uh, the legs drop down that far, as you can see there really, really far down and then pop them back up, but you can get the legs to do full on split, which is good. You can kick forward. Uh, that far, which is good. The leg goes back significantly, which is great. You got an upper uh, thigh cut in there, double jointed pinless knee. Ooh, a little stiff. So that much bend there at the knee, which is good. Boot swivel in there, foot hinges down. Uh, you get some hinge up, ankle pivot, peg holes at the bottom of the feet, which are good because you want to use the action force stand. You can use those uh, peg holes. So now let's go ahead and see how she looks next to another female steel brigade. Okay, so here we have the female steel brigade figures right next to each other. And then I guess one thing that, you know, I didn't do, the obviously we have another head with more of the gold uh, helmet on there. So you could really build out your army on kind of, you know, how you want your steel brigade to be. But as you can see, they are the same. The The regular female steel brigade figure does have additional paint apps where there's like scuffing, um, like there's some added, you know, silver dry brushing on some of those armor pieces to bring out kind of some weathering. So that is really nice. Uh, but, you know, the pink, we're right. We're supporting um, a, a really good cause. Uh, one thing to note, though, we are talking about the action figures. The hips on my pink one are um, a little bit more loose. Like this one's definitely firm. The you know these these hips really aren't moving um, a lot. These hips are, be, are are very loose. Like obviously they're not like super wobbly, um, but they are definitely a little bit loose. They, they they don't move around on their own, but they definitely move uh, a little too easy for my liking. But it's not something that's terrible or anything like that. She's not going to flop over and just fall. She can stand, no problem. Okay, and then here we have our entire Steel Brigade lineup. We have the Arctic Steel Brigade, which was a Big Bad Toy Store exclusive. The uh, Night Ops Steel Brigade, which was also a Big Bad Toy Store exclusive. We got this the Desert uh, Steel Brigade, and then we have the regular Steel Brigade figures back here. So this is, you know, the regular one, and the regular female, and then now with the uh, the pink one, which is exclusive to Valiverse, uh, Valiverse's website. Uh, I'll have a link in the video description below if you're looking to pick up this awesome figure and help support a really good cause. You know, the, again, portions of the proceeds will go to the Gloria Gemma Foundation. Um, and then again, it's all about raising awareness for breast cancer and, and really showing support. Um, I think it's a great figure. You guys let me know down in the comments below what do you think. I just love the Steel Brigade design. Um, I love the different colors. You know, any Steel Brigade figure that's coming out, guess what? I'm going to be buying them because I really like the way lo they look. The, st the Night Ops Steel Brigade figure is going to be my favorite of them. Uh, but the pink does add... Um, you know, a, a, an additional special quality. It really stands out. There's also a l extremely limited edition pink Vanguard that is going to be very difficult to get. Um, and your Steel Brigade could look really good um, with a pink Vanguard if you're able to get your hands on one. I don't know the details exactly on that. I just got my Stealth Gray Vanguard, so I'm excited to take a look at that. Um, 
So there's all that. But you guys let me know down in the comments below. What do you think of this pink uh, female Steel Brigade figure? Um, did you pick some up? Are you looking to pick some up? Again, link in the video description below. Again, order them up. Um, and then, uh, you know, help support a good cause and, and raise awareness for breast cancer. If you guys like this video, please do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't, haven't already done so. And as always, thank you for watching.